just from an overall strength point of view, how do you view the Australian uh, Australian team at the moment and Australian cricket in general? Do you believe there will be a long period in which fans have to get used to middling results? Yeah, I mean, the recent result against Sri Lanka, that was probably the worst Sri Lankan team I've seen in international cricket. Um, they were depleted. They had injuries as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was, and they played a day-nighter at the fastest track in Australia, at the Gabba. So they were never going to perform that well. Um, so I wouldn't let that cloud our judgment about the actual summer uh, of Australia because the real test and where you should judge the players was how they did against India because that was a proper test and a lot fell short. Uh, the state of Australian cricket, I think we've got a lot of talented cricketers in Australia. Um, I think though that there has to be, there's a, at the moment there's a bit of a mindset of the player being making sure that he's okay. Hmm. I want to see back to the Australian team all walking out and being together. Um, I think there's a lot of people playing for their spots. Um, I think our one day cricket side could win the World Cup. I think England and India go in as favourites. I think they're the two best sides in it. But if we if Australia pick the right team, I still think they've got a, a, a team that could win the World Cup. They've got some very talented players there. But I worry a little bit. I think our domestic system has lost its... Sheffield Shield Cricket was always the strongest first-class cricket because the international players always played. Yes. Always played. Um, and it was tough. It was hard. And everyone was in awe. Everyone wanted to play Sheffield Shield Cricket. At the moment, I think the authorities, the cricket board, are disrespecting and, and degrading Shield Cricket with players bowling one innings and then pulling them out of the, the rest of the match. So they're devaluing... Shield cricket, they have to get back to what's important. And I think Cricket Australia have to get back and say what's important. At the moment, I think white ball cricket is more important than test cricket. Big Bash, they wanted 72 games. I think they settled on 59. Um, so to me, I want Cricket Australia to come out and say, test cricket is our number one priority. Mm. And stop being greedy with 2020 cricket and start getting back to making sure shield cricket is important and test cricket is important. Because at the time you played Shane, Yep. There could have been an alternative Australian eleven that could well, have actually yeah, could have contested against the best teams in the world and probably yeah. won. There were several batsmen averaging in their late forties, early fifties who never made the Test squad or yeah. could or uh, didn't get enough game time. Why well, I has, think there was one. There was one year we played Australia, Australia A, and that's was right, it England. England I yes. think I think was the third side, yeah. and the finals was Australia versus yes. Australia A, and the crowd were on Australia A side, <laughs> and the Australian A side was something like. Matthew Hayden, um, Jimmy Ma, Ricky Ponting, Stuart Law, Darren Lehman, uh, Michael Bevan. Um, I'm trying to think. Then there was Paul Rifle, Damian Fleming. Pretty good team then. It was, it was a pretty good <laughs> side as the Australian A side. Yes. And there were still players that were missing out. Brad Hodge, those guys couldn't get in that side either. So, yeah, we were very strong in that mid sort of early to mid-90s, sort of that 90s, 10 years and early 2000s.